Good evening. It's Tuesday, February 18th, 2018. It is 5 o'clock, and this is a meeting of the Law and Ordinance Committee. My name is John Schwazer, Chair. On my right is Mr. Todd Siever, and on my left is Mr. Bobby Phillips, and we are here to discuss Smith's Boathouse. Mr. Titterington. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, in a previous council meeting, the City Council authorized a new loan, a revolving loan, to uh, Smith's Boathouse for some renovations that they would like to do. Uh, Smith Boathouse actually has a lease through the uh, CIC, who is the contract agent on behalf of the city and, uh, and controls the use of that property. As part of the renovations and the improvements that the restaurant would like to do, at the time that they asked for uh, a second loan, uh, as well as the consolidation of the first loan, uh, to simplify and stabilize their um, expenses and their estimated their forecast expenses particularly in the future as they uh, as they uh, take on these renovations and expand their operations and hopefully profitability they did ask the CIC to consider <coughs> simplifying and ch uh, changing and simplifying their um, their lease agreement uh, instead of the current arrangement that includes a base lease of uh, base rent of $1,200 plus 3% plus an additional quarter of a percent when they, if and or when they reach a threshold of over a million dollars, uh, they asked, uh, they asked the committee if they would consider just a flat 3% across the board. Um, the, uh, the CIC in discussions, uh, uh, recommended that the uh, base rent be 3.25 percent uh, with a quarter percent uh, going back to the CIC to build up their funds to allow us uh, allow them and us to, in the future to do some additional economic development projects whether they're related to uh, the marina building or not probably you know an expanded uh, uh, mission uh, in the future and so we originally were hoping that with the way the initial legislation was set up with the CIC between the, the CIC and the council, uh, that the CIC would have that flexibility without having to come to council. Uh, the law director has advised that we should, in fact, have that go as a recommendation from the CIC. And so we are asking that you recommend to the full council uh, restructuring that lease again three and a quarter percent, three percent coming back to the city, a quarter percent uh, being paid to the CIC directly from Smith's Boathouse uh, and simplifying the, uh, the rent structure uh, for the, uh, the remaining portion of the lease, which I believe expires uh, 2021. We are asking for emergency legislation so it can we can restructure as quickly as possible to be consistent with the the new loan and getting them moving forward. Sure. Um, does the CIC only deal with city-owned property? Um, I don't think that that necessarily has to be their mandate. It typically is. Um, their focus is on commercial and in particular and, and more likely with industrial property um, where we have the bigger projects that would involve private sector we might uh, uh, approach the uh, the Port Authority Montgomery County Port Authority for example to do the bigger projects. Mm -hmm. uh, right now the CIC's only project though is the uh, the marina building what would be an example of something else that they might do? Jim, can you? In the, it would only be in the city of Troy, correct? Uh, for the CIC, CIC uh, yes, yes. Their, their articles of incorporation only include the uh, boundaries of the city. Okay. CIC has quite a few powers uh, that were all granted back in 1973, and there was a, uh, uh, an agreement that set out what they can do, and it's industrial, commercial, uh, research, uh, development projects of that type uh, inside the city limits that would create uh, jobs. That's their whole uh, task. Back in the day, uh, industrial revenue bonds 
uh, were issued through the CIC, and that was uh, a big thing in the uh, 70s and the 80s, but not so much anymore. Uh, so the CIC has been relatively inactive and uh, nearly uh, was closed up uh, some years back, but the decision was made, let's keep it uh, in operation so that it is available uh, as an alternative. Uh, as uh, Mr. Titterington said, uh, there have been several projects that uh, looked at using the CIC, but uh, instead used the um, Port Authority because it had better bonding uh, ability. So who's performing the accounting? The city or the CIC? The CIC is a separate corporation completely. I, I appreciate that. So my question is, the, we're doing a percentage lease, if, if my, and, and it's going from 3 to 3.25, right? Mm -hmm. So we're increasing the, the lease. Who is auditing and accounting the receipts that are being presented by the tenant? The city um, auditors. The city, city auditors. Auditor. Yeah, they're, they're required to give us the financial reports every month when they remit, remit their 3%. Their the other 0.25% uh, goes directly to the CIC. Uh, they do have a treasurer uh, and, a, uh, and an account, a and U.S. So bank, and they, that, tre that treasurer of that organization then has to, you know, accounts for that. So are we going to write the CIC then a monthly check for their share? No, that will go directly to them from the from bond the house. tenant. Right. So is everything paid to the CIC? No. Every, so everything comes to the city? Other than the point that, that's what that's, no. that was my, that's what I'm trying to three and a quarter out. okay so their, their total amount due is three and a quarter percent right. three percent comes to the end is deposited with the auditor the city auditor they write one check to the city for three percent each month so they write another check for a quarter percent to the CIC so they have to re, they have to write two checks but the the privity of contract is between CIC and uh, the tenant. Correct. The lease is between those, those two, correct. So why is the city taking the money? Because it's our building and because our contract is with the CIC. For us to collect that money. Correct. Okay. The, so the CIC is working as our agent, in essence, and we're collecting it, and that's why we get to keep the money. That's correct. Okay. That, that, that flows. <clears throat> that makes sense to me. And that was outlined in 3.1D, I believe it was, in that in the document that we've, we've gotten on the lease, amended lease agreement. Correct. And the CIC has no assets right. in, to itself. The right. CIC is what, like, Bill Lukens and Mark Douglas and all those guys are on, right? Uh, the auditor, yes. the mayor, myself. It's a 13-member uh, board. Yeah. You're right, Bill Several Lukens is the president. Yes. Okay. And Mark Douglas is the treasurer. Its funds are in uh, U.S. Bank and actually are audited every year by the state auditor. Okay. I sit on that board also. Yeah, okay. That yeah. committee, excuse me. Um, the only other question I have, and we had, I think we talked about it before, Ms. Titterington, was in the lease agreement, it says 3%, and on the cover page, it says 3.25. Yeah, and, and it may have to do with the fact that the, the lease here that you see is between the city and the CIC, and that arrangement is the 3%, mm -hmm. and then when you break it down to the 3.1D, that talks about the entire arrangement and council is granting permission to the CIC to amend the lease to have those two terms in it. Okay. I did reach out to uh, uh, the law director to get some clarification, but uh, that's my understanding. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Phillips? Well, I, along that same vein in reading number three in the amended uh, marina lease uh, document, um, it does seem as if the lessee is paying the three percent back to the lessor to the city that would be the uh, the lessee in this case is Correct. the cic Correct. we are leasing it to them so the cic owes us three percent however the as CIC a mechanism is never touching that 3%. correct that'll come 
that and as part of the CIC's contract with or lease with the boathouse the boathouse is responsible to make sure that we get that that money and gets the proper documentation so that we can audit it right but that you explained that the previous point we were talking about down further in the yes, 3.1 correct B, whatever that was so, correct okay yeah, no, I, look, I don't have any problem with it. I'm still a little perplexed on the how it's all structured. How so? Does the CIC who's the property? CIC is to? subletting. I understand. So who's the property needed to? The, uh, the city. city. Yeah. The city. Okay. So we're leasing it to CIC for a dollar a year. For a dollar plus, and then they're leasing it to Smith's Boathouse for three percent. Correct. Uh, for three point two five. For three point two five. Correct. And then what about the canoe guy? He's subleasing. That's a from separate contract. That's that is a separate uh, uh, lease with the CIC. With the CIC, not right. with Smith's Boathouse. Correct. So they're completely independent. That's correct. Yeah, I, with giving them the money for the new bar, I think hopefully we get more money coming back. More too. return. So. We are asking for emergency legislation. I don't have any problem with that. Mr. Phillips? Uh, proceed as, as staff is ready. Let's proceed with emergency. Anything else to come before a law and ordinance? No, sir. We are adjourned. <laughs>